going on everybody it's me truck driver Sean so we're here today to talk about my newest mistake <laughs> Jeez, I'm an idiot all right this is the surge v2 it's made a little bit more rugged a little bit more uh, sustainable for beatings like I pick really hard and I saw through picks like crazy so I got 50 of these thinking I was ordering 50 of these <laughs> just to show you what a dum-dum I am yeah so obviously my Jimmy Dean sausage fingers prefer the Surge XL but I ended up with 50 of these little baby things but there is one thing I can say it's a rugged pick I have beat the snot out of it trying to round it off and I can't I finally gave up decided I was gonna make a video because if I wait to round it off I'm just gonna give you an insane amount of time it lasts two times longer than the other ones do so with that said hopefully they're working on a uh, v2 of the surge XL because in my opinion the surge XL is the best pick that's ever been created I really do love that thing I hate the price I got 50 of these because they had a crazy deal in October going on so I was like <laughs> yep I'm buying those so what we'll do because I have the uh, we all remember this pick right the first one I ever got from acoustic attack that's their attack pick or as I like to call it the general warts pick then my favorite pick of all time the surge XL and then the new one the surge v2 the little baby so we'll start with we'll start with the the general warts pick we're gonna play the same riff and I will play it with all three picks and you can see for yourself what the sound is like through the three different picks you know what I should do because I've got one around here somewhere that's right oh here we go the pick that I use as like my pick right we'll even use that you know what we'll do we'll start with my regular pick and then we'll go to general genital warts then we'll go to the fat boy Jimmy Dean sausage finger XL and then the new v2 so that's the order we're gonna go in all right so here we go this is a Dunlop uh, heavy max grip 1.0 here we go <laughs> All right, now we're on to General DeWart's Willie. Here we go. <laughs> Now we go to the XL Surge, the fat boy pick, if you will. And last but not least, the rock star of the show, the V2 Surge. All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you go obviously it sounds really good I don't know how well it got captured uh, miking up a <laughs> yes I mic'd up a spark mini with a shitty $70 SM57 knockoff by Audix called an i5 we'll see what it sounds like but here in the truck I am gonna say the one that sounds the best like the best pick attack uh, makes your playing sound a little cleaner is the V2 by Surge. Even though it's small and I don't like having to pick that small in my hands, you can't deny that, you know, if it, if the mic does its job, you're going to hear what I heard, and that is an undeniable difference that says that this is the better pick out of the four. All right? Gear used today, this... Yes, this is my signature Deviant guitar. It is called a linchpin. This is the six string variant that is going um, into the Spark Mini, which is being mic'd up with an Audix i5. And that is going directly into the Q2N by Zoom. I am using a cheap ass $10 lavalier from Amazon. I don't even know what the brand is, but I couldn't pronounce it if I wanted to anyway because it was all chicken scratches and upside down houses from China. Yeah. Although one of the symbols did look like your mom. Like it kind of looked like a Y, but then it had like a messy thing in the scoop of the Y. It was really weird, but it did remind me of your mom. Yeah, that's right. Tell your mom. It's trimming season, not growing season. It's definitely shave November. Not no shave November, okay? Nobody wants the Yeti. Nobody wants the Yeti. Anyhow, thank you all for tuning in. Go check out uh, Acoustic Attack. 
I know I give them a lot of crap for how expensive their picks are, but really at the end of the day, I mean, you heard the normal pick I use, which I've been using for years and years and years and years. And that's the Max Grip 1.0 by Dunlop. It doesn't sound as good as that pick does. So even if you're buying the picks just for studio time and when you really need to have a very precise sound, even if it's just for that, I think it's worth your time. But if you buy a six pack of them, it's gonna put you out like 10 bucks, I think. And you know what? If you're out 10 bucks to find out it doesn't work for you, you're only out 10 bucks and you tried something new. Uh, this is a great time to be a guitar player, man. There's a lot of stuff out there. I mean, a lot of stuff out there. It's an awesome time to be a guitar player. Seriously, we are spoiled. <laughs> People 20 years ago didn't have what we have today. I mean, look what I'm doing. I'm inside an 18 wheeler, sitting where I sleep with a badass guitar that was built. I designed it and the company helped me make this real, which by the way, thank you Royce, if you're watching this, you're an awesome dude. It's like something I've been dreaming about like exist. <laughs> it's so awesome. Sorry if I seem like I'm bragging, but fucking hell, man. I'm a truck driver that does YouTube as like a hobby and I have a signature guitar. Yeah, I'm going to brag a little bit. So if you don't like it, I'll go get yourself a spork at the buffet and you can sit down and have an all-you-can-eat situation right on my asshole. All right, very cool. Keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit and check out Acoustic Attack. Their attack picks, you can't deny that they're better than regular picks sounding little awkward the one with that has the uh general warts on it it's a little odd to use but it does make you pick cleaner because you have to think about what you're doing so you don't catch the the gws on your strings mm -hmm. hmm. if you caught the gw on your g string would that mean that you're you got hpv and you're on the rag no that just mean you're wearing a bikini because you're some brave shit spreading that stuff. <laughs> All right. Enough of my nasty ass sense of humor. All right. Catch you on the next video. If you have any questions about these, hit me up. I'll give you any information that I can give you. And if you want to know more about my experience with them, as far as the company, they're really good people. Uh, they're pricey. Not as pricey as they used to be, but they're still pretty pricey. But, I mean, the the... I don't even want to call it boutique picks, but the precision picks these days, you're paying a lot of money for them. Even if it's a Dunlop precision pick, I mean, shit. Their John Petrucci picks aren't cheap, and they're, Christ, you can destroy those things as fast as you open them. So, it is what it is, man. All right, very cool. I'll catch y'all later, like in the next video and shit. Ciao.